I know you're probably not going to believe the words that are about to come out of my mouth. We'll address the first thing. Yes, you're gonna see this hat a whole lot. Finally, after promising you for like a million years, we are doing slow cooker yogurt and we are doing instant pot yogurt. Oh yes, we are. We're gonna make it both ways and we're gonna compare and contrast the differences. There are times that I prefer to make homemade yogurt in the Instant Pot and there are times where my slow cooker does the job just how I need it to. If you're new here, family of 10, mom of eight, everybody loves yogurt. This is large family yogurt. You will need to divide this recipe down by half. So I will have my large family homemade yogurt recipe linked below and that recipe will also have like a normal size or an average size family version of the yogurt. Now yogurt does well in the refrigerator usually for up to two weeks or so. I've never had it go bad because it never hangs out long enough but up to two weeks it should be good so if you make a whole gallon of yogurt and if you will ha only have you know two three four young kids there's a high possibility you could go through a whole gallon of yogurt in two weeks right so I've got two gallons of whole milk you want to use a full fat milk you see I've wrote mom's yogurt on here because for the last few weeks when I've been saying I was making yogurt my milks kept disappearing so I had to label them I also even though this is plain yogurt yeah I think I wrote mom's yogurt on there too as far as the yogurt you need as your starter yogurt you just need a plain non-fat yogurt do not use a yogurt with any sweeteners or any fruit in there at all because it will kill the active cultures. You are going to grow active cultures in your slow cooker and in your Instant Pot. I've read different yogurt brands and such. You know me, frugal and cheap. I always just go for the great value brand if that's what I got. So this has active yogurt cultures in there and it was the biggest, cheapest thing of plain yogurt there. Because I am doing a gallon, a gallon in the slow cooker, a gallon in the Instant Pot, I'm going to use a cup of starter yogurt in each device, okay? If you are doing a half gallon, which is more of the standard, you only need about half a cup of starter yogurt. But this really is not complicated and we're gonna go through it now. So for the crock pot yogurt version, I am going to pour this whole gallon into my crock pot. It is on low. We are going to leave it on low in the slow cooker for about two and a half to three hours. We want the yogurt to reach a temperature of 180 degrees. And as far as my past yogurt recipes, I have not always shared the temperatures, but because I have so many people following my directions, and you know I can be loosey-goosey when it comes to directions, I'm uh, at least doing the temperature in things so I can show you all how to do that. Now I'm not touching it for three hours. So on a day when I don't have a lot of time in the kitchen or I'm not even coming through a lot, it's great to get the yogurt going and know a few hours later I can do my next step. Now for this Instant Pot, let's get the milk in here, and this is gonna need me to help it in about an hour. I just gave my Instant Pot a sniff, and yeah, it was smelling just a little spicy. So I'm gonna wash out my liner, and that's just my reminder to you to make sure you wash out your liner really well. It could have gone through the dishwasher but the odor might still be there. So just give it some extra bubbles, give it a little extra scrubbing. I've also made yogurt in the 14 quart Go Wise pressure cooker. I will link a video down in the description below where my friend Ashley shows how she makes yogurt in the 14 quart pressure cooker. And I'll probably do my own flavor of the video at some point, but you'll have hers linked below as well for that. So now with this Instant Pot, yay, it has the yogurt button. I'm sorry, we've got to stop yogurt for a minute because are you swiffering on the go? <laughs> Did you just go see chickens? Chickens are getting moved to their coop by this evening, aren't they? Daddy had to go pick up a few more things. This is the way to get your one, almost two-year-olds to swiffer. Woohoo! What you doing? Show me! Show me! Oh, oh, now you're stuck. Now you're stuck. Oh, yeah, he really likes getting the swiffer under the bench. 
These floors need Swiffer anyway. Mm-hmm. Random sock on the floor, random broom. Okay, so now Mama's gonna get back to my yogurt making action and then I'll get outside with you. So next thing now, officially, now that we've had that cute Benjamin clean and break, is I'm gonna put the whole gallon of milk in there. Benjamin's gonna sing to us while I'm doing it. Okay, so now we're gonna hit the yogurt function. And then we're gonna hit this adjust until it says boil. Then we can put this lid on. It doesn't matter whether you have it on sealed or venting. It's gonna do its yogurt making thing for just a little bit. So if I have a day where the kids and I are gonna be outside for several hours before I can get back walking through this kitchen to do the next thing, the slow cooker is the way to go. And that is why still, even with all these instant pots and electric pressure cookers and awesome devices, I'll never get rid of my crock pots because there's so many times that that style of cooking is all this mama can handle. If I'm gonna be in my kitchen a little bit more, I can get yogurt going in the Instant Pot. There is a step coming up in the Instant Pot where I get it set up and then it does its thing for about eight hours. It's just these little beginning steps. So start to finish the homemade crock pot yogurt. Takes about 14 to 16 hours. Start to finish this Instant Pot yogurt takes about eight and a half or so hours. So that's the time comparison. Okay guys, so I am back from outside for a bit. I just took the lid off of this. When I came in, picture, lid was on, just took it off. Now we are going to take the inner pot out. We're gonna let it sit on the counter, maybe for up to an hour. We need it to get down to about 110, 108 degrees or so. So I'm gonna take it out now. So there you go, it's just gonna sit there for a bit. And then here is the yogurt in the slow cooker still hanging out and this is this mama I'm having a snack of some natural peanut butter just a few little like sugar-free chocolate chips whole big thing of almond milk like you needed to know that not the pepper sorry there are whistles going on on the deck behind me but I was just checking this temperature it's almost there it was coming in at 117 now it's yeah 117 ish not quite down we want it to get all the way down to about 108 or so so we'll take this temperature we need this to get up to about 180 or so so close 170s one now this is real easy once this gets up to 180 degrees all I'm going to do is unplug it and let this sit for about three hours or so. So that means when we get back from Taekwondo tonight, I will do the next step. Still at 172. So what we're trying to do is just scald the milk. Yes, just at 108. Now we're at 107.4. 108 to 110 would be absolutely perfect. And now I'm going to take that out. Uh, there is some skim like stuff that's on the top that you can take off as well all we are going to do now is put this pot back in we've got the cup of yogurt i'm going to put this in the instant pot and whisk it up okay so we hit the yogurt function it's already set to eight hours in about 10 seconds it's going to start beeping and then it'll just count up until we get back up there i will let this just there it goes there's the beeping hello beeping right around bedtime is when I will pull this out. And so now I've gotta clean up my dinner mess over here that's looking at me, and we'll do the next big step on the slow cooker. So we've definitely, we're at 182, 179. I've got the lid off. So this, sorry, it's getting loud. We're getting ready to leave for Taekwondo. All I'm doing now is I am unplugging the slow cooker. The temperature is gonna come down over about three hours. That's the only thing that has to be done. It's just gonna sit here while I'm at Taekwondo. Then we will do the next step once I get back. And then this Instant Pot is on its eight hour cycle making the yogurt. Okay guys, so we are back from Taekwondo and if I can find another whisk, we're doing jobs and getting ready for bed and getting whisk out of drawers. So this yogurt in the slow cooker or about to be yogurt in the slow cooker has been sitting for the last three hours or so. Now I'm going to whisk in one cup of this plain yogurt and then I'm going to wrap the slow cooker with a towel 
and it's just gonna sit there unplugged and do its thing all night when we get up in the morning it's about 8 30 now so by the time you know we've been on our walk and done our things and got our day rolling about 8 30 in the morning we'll have yogurt sit here and then we'll start the next step with this and then this instant pot it's been on so far for three and a half hours we need to get to eight and a half hours and uh, I don't want to stay up for five more hours <laughs> so I think I will actually leave a note for my older son when he gets home later he can take this and uh, take the base out maybe put it in the refrigerator overnight and then we'll strain it in the morning we're gonna put it through cheesecloth to separate the way. We'll see all that soon, but we'll do some rigging up to still get this yogurt ready. So here we are after the crock pot yogurt has made all night. I'm gonna take the lid off and then I will do, I will do the first stir to show you. Look, yay, happy yogurt. So you can see the liquid in there is the way, and that is what we're going to strain off. But like I said, you can save that for smoothies or add it to pancake batter. Lots of yummy things, because there's protein in that, that you can add that to. Here we go, there's our bowl with our cheesecloth. Now I'm going to pour the yogurt through it. So I have just my good old green colander and I have it in a metal bowl that's a little bit bigger than itself just to catch everything that's gonna come out of the sides so here's what it looks like when I pick it up and you can see the way dripping down already so I've covered this yogurt that's straining with a towel and I'll move it on my counter here and then I just wanted to show you I got this out of the fridge and so this is the yogurt the instant pot yogurt that I wasn't able to process before bed and we took it out covered it in plastic wrap <laughs> wrote the word wait with a smiley face this will need to be strained as well but I only could find one cheesecloth so we're gonna let this strain for a few hours and then we'll have a turn with this instant pot yogurt so here we are a few hours later can you see all of that liquid in there so i'm sure you see plainly the beauty of what we have done this is nice thick yogurt and it smells so good. We have not put anything in it yet. We will talk about what to add into the yogurts and different ways to use it here shortly, but I'm gonna get that Instant Pot full of yogurt going now. So now we've got the Instant Pot yogurt straining. This is the slow cooker yogurt. I just made three bowls of this with some honey as the sweetener for kiddos. Here's a tub of whey that's gonna go in the fridge and we'll probably do smoothies tomorrow with this too. This is how fast, quick, and in a hurry yogurt goes at our house. Seven children had big bowls of yogurt. Zion was the only one who has not had a big bowl yet. And they had it with honey. There was just a little bit of that left when it was all said and done. And now everything I just poured into this bowl is the Instant Pot yogurt. And I bet between tomorrow morning, between doing smoothies and some yogurt throughout the day, this will be gone. You will still only see one container of yogurt. And I had put the honey in, so that's where you're seeing the brown color. That is the honey and some of the little bit of vanilla. I put in the bowl to mix up the yogurt for them and I will just do that again. So that is this variation. It's some honey vanilla. And then here is the whey that is left. and. It's a little whiter than the other one because some a plop of yogurt got in there, but that's okay. Like I say, smoothies are a coming. And if I didn't say it already, there's lots of mamas that use this in pancake batter and for different things. So it is another lake day around here. Actually, this is our only lake day for the whole week. It's supposed to rain later in the afternoon, but we're still gonna go so we can get a good four to five hours in. That'll be better than nothing. Anywho, Back to that yogurt. I'm going to do a bunch of homemade smoothies here in a moment with you and show using the yogurt and some of the way in action. I just made the effort to go grocery shopping in the garage and haul in all this food. And so I paused this how to make yogurt in the slow cooker and instant pot video to show you my quick grocery haul from my garage. Confession, no freezer sandwiches right now. Last time we went to the lake, I 
piled sandwiches in my bag, grabbed a couple bags of fruit, and we were off. Today, we're gonna do turkey and cheese sandwiches, and I got the fruit, but it's just like one more thing. And I have some of these um, Joseph's wraps. These are, sorry, you're looking at them upside down, but oat bran, whole wheat, it's a lavish bread. They're low carb and healthy. Uh, so yeah, it'll be five carbs for half of these, and half of one, and they're huge. So I'm gonna do myself a wrap. Uh, for the kids, we're gonna do, we got some uncured ham and some smoked turkey, do turkey and cheese sandwiches. Then I grab, we got half a pound of baby carrots um, open, bunch of oranges, couple pears, just gonna reuse that bag. And then we'll probably, we might take some cheese sticks too with an ice pack. And then for dinner, when we get home tonight, this is gonna be another video, but I'm going to do uh, like stir fry fried rice. I have another video for that, but this is gonna be a like low carb trim healthy mama type version with collie rice so I've got my chicken out of the freezer and this coleslaw mix uh, I used my other whole head of cabbage yesterday wah 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 but tons of collie rice this is gonna go down this evening when we get home so this is just an example of me shopping out in my garage extra refrigerators of food that we need for the day now let's make those smoothies strawberry smoothies going in those, I used the whey, I used strawberries, this is frozen from Costco, used about a cup of yogurt, and then some almond milk. Good and holy mama cup of coffee. Now we're gonna serve this up. So we did the strawberry, the kids ate, drank a whole pitcher of that. Then I did a pitcher of tropical smoothie. Now this is just plain vanilla, because I have one kiddo in particular who just prefers vanilla. So we just like to accommodate when and if we can. And believe me, it'll get used up. So what I do for just the vanilla smoothies is I add in just a little bowl of ice and it works out well. So the recipe to make the super easy crock pot yogurt, gonna be linked in the description below, and the recipe to also do equally super easy homemade yogurt in the Instant Pot will be linked down below. I like doing them both ways, honestly. I like to also get two slow cookers of homemade yogurt going at the same time. I also like using the Instant Pot, and I'm gonna do it here shortly in the 14 quart Go Wise pressure cooker, but my friend Ashley's video will also be linked down below so you can see how she does that. I'll have a blog post that goes with all this yogurt making because I've got like my mama hat and Lakehead on now, and we've got our lunch packed over there. We're ready to go over the river through the woods to the lake. I can't pull a full thought together to compare and contrast the Instant Pot and the Slow Cooker Yogurt, but I promise I'll write about it in the description and the yogurt blog post with all the recipes down below, and that'll uh, just take care of all those complete thoughts for me. As always, you can click one of the large family food playlists that are popping up here. Keep on watching all this food going down to help you feed all your people. I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.